Hello internet people, my name is Robert. In this video, I will explain why are you missing up to 25% of your website traffic in Google Analytics. And part of the reason is cookies. I mean, I realize it's not a cookie, but this is all I have. Tip sweat punch. Now, here you can see my website. And you can see I have about 20,000 users here. That's what the GA is showing right now. But actually that's not completely true because I have about 5,300 people that actually block the GA on my website and I do not see them in any stats like this one. And don't worry, later in this video I'll show you how to track all the visitors who blocked your Google Analytics script. The biggest reason you're missing traffic in GA is ad blockers because most of them also block Google Analytics code from loading. That prevents tracking on your website. Now to avoid ad blockers completely, but still keep the same quality of data as before, you need to consider server-side tracking. In a nutshell, server-side tracking just means that your server does the tracking instead of sending the data to a third party like Google with JavaScript. Now, your server might forward the data to Google but the visitor's browser will not know about this. This happens from server to server, so browser has no idea what's going on there. And obviously you could code everything from scratch, but luckily there are few solutions out there. For example, server-side Google Tag Manager is perfect for you if you are an advanced user of Google Tag Manager. And for the rest, you can sign up for services like Data Eldorado or TraceDog. With these services, after initial setup, they will do everything for you, but you have less control. In terms of price, they differ a bit, so it really depends on the number of monthly visitors you have on your website. So I'll leave links to these services in the description of this video, so just check it out and uh, see what's perfect for you. With this setup, even Arnie won't be able to hide from you. I prepared a bit of code that you install on your WordPress site and anytime GA gets blocked, we notify your GA about it with an event. Let me show you how it works. Let's say I have here GhostRead, it's an ad blocker, and you can see that it blocks the Google Analytics script by default. So it, whatever I do, let's say I go to this other page, it will always block it. You can see it just blocks them there. And this just means nothing will show up in your GA. So this user is invisible to you. And for that, I've created a super simple plugin for WordPress. I'll leave the link to, in the description to this page. All you have to do is come here and you can download this code here, download the zip. That's all we need, save it. And now we can go to our dashboard in WordPress and just go to plugins, add new. And here we need to upload a plugin because it's not actually anywhere on the WordPress library. So browse. I'm going to upload this one and then open it and install now. All right, now it's installed. You just need to activate the plugin. And now under settings, you have GA blocker detector. If you click on it, you can now enter Google Analytics ID. And if you don't know how to do that, it's super simple. You just go to your analytics and then admin dashboard, I'll open in a new tab, and you have here property settings. So it's here. And for GA4, it's a bit harder, but again, it's in the admin. And then here you have property settings. Here you won't see anything. You just need to go to data streams, click on this domain, measurement ID, that's what you need. Like this one, I already have it here because I installed this plugin before. But in your case, you would see something like this, which is just a placeholder. Just place yours there and then click on save. And now this plugin is installed. So what if we go now to the same page we were before? And now when I come to my website and refresh the page like this, and then I go to my GA. So here you need to go under real time and events and here you'll see you have a blocking event. You see there's one there. It says right now two, but I've been testing before so that it might show up. But basically here you have one event, which is the blocking GA. So remember to check it here. So real time and then events. You see that now 
the event is firing. And once you collect some data, you can see the results in behavior and then events and top events. And here you have blocking. So if you click on it or you can see already here total events or unique events, that's what I look at usually. This is basically the number, how many visitors or users blocked Google Analytics. If you're interested in setting up server-side Google Tag Manager, then check out this video right here. And in this video right here, I will show you how to upgrade to the newer version of Google Analytics, which is GA4.